or Samson strength and hair or whatever the hell. None of that stuff. Can't find an app with an Eve bit. Nothing. So you got to figure out what are you going to believe in or what are you going to start to what are you going to what are you going to study that's going to lead you to something that's real. The Bible, the Quran, the Torah, what have you, or our ancient ancestors, not just in ancient Kemet, but in Africa, northern Africa, all throughout Africa, because there's also unbelievable things throughout Africa. That's real. We can touch. So for me, yeah, I believe in a creator because it's just common sense. There's just no way around that. <laughs> it's physics, plain and simple. Something created the woman. The woman was created first. There is no way a woman came from a man's rib. Just didn't happen like that. And I broke that down as far as the atoms, what have you, what that means. That's why it was named Adam. I'm trying to tell you right there. Um, same thing with Atum. So, um, yeah. There's no way. The woman was made first, and she was made to do exactly what she's done. And whatever happened, happened. I get into this in videos. But uh, something created us, whatever that is, for whatever reason. And um, it's not evolution. This is, this is something that is so huge that's going on on this planet. Um, and the way things is played out, it, it's not what was planned. As far as um, once we get the Europeans coming into power, something happened. As, as I said, I get into this in videos. But uh, yeah, my beliefs is just that, you know, I'm not an atheist. I do believe in a higher power as far as a creator. And the thing is, you can ask some people who claim to be atheists and they'll tell you the same thing. I don't believe in the biblical God. I don't believe in any God as far as the man-made word God, because again, that's a man-made word. I was just explaining this to somebody earlier that God is a man-made word. What does that mean? Because creator is a man-made word too. The difference is the word creator stands on its own because we're talking about creation, somebody making something, right? That existed long before God. So if you see somebody making clothes or making food, they're creating something. So that word, that, that doesn't even need a word. That's something that is understood from vision. If I see somebody gathering some things and putting them together to create something, they're a creator, they're creating, they're making something. God, that word was created to specifically go with biblical religion, to go with religion. This is a God, a person who we say created everything. It's a man-made word, it's a man-made term to go with a belief system or religion that a person created. It's not something that people was discussing just in the beginning of time or what have you. That's just widely known. It's something you would have to ask, what's that? It's not something that stands on its own. You got to put it in context with something. God of what? Who's God? Who believe in this God? That doesn't make sense. You understand? So you ask the most atheists, they'll tell you, no, I don't believe in God, but the biblical God. I don't believe in God because that's a man-made word and term that somebody created for me to basically believe in what they believe in or a religion or what have you. Creator fits better because we was created. Something created us. But again, as I said, whatever did that creation had to be in the physical to do so. So that means whatever that is has a consciousness and energy just like we do. So we are the same as that creator, which is why we call ourselves gods as well. So if you want to say that creator is God, then so are we. So if you forget who created you, who made you, where you came from, your mother's womb, which is why we call the woman God, specifically the black woman, because she was here first and she was the mother of all creation. By saying she's God king, that doesn't mean that you're not God as well. My belief is I don't believe in a biblical God or God at all as far as this, you know, man-made word and term that corresponds to religion. When you look up the definition, it tells you straight up Christianity. It goes back to a belief system or religion or what have you. And people think because we follow ancient Egypt and we talk about the Egyptians or what have you, that we believe that these so-called Egyptian gods is, is gods. That's who we worship. 
And you got to understand the whole thing of monotheism versus polytheism or what have you. And who believe what? Because to say that you are God, the creator of all the universe or what have you, is that one being or multiple beings. Think about that. So they didn't, they didn't believe in, you know, uh, having all these multiple beings as the creator. So we can't say that they're Egyptian gods. We, we, we say gods and we use it to keep people comfortable as far as the information, because that's the term that it goes back to that people are familiar with God. But we don't mean it in the sense of God with the biblical. Understand? So we're not walking around worshiping Osiris and praising him on Sunday and Saturday or what have you. In that sense, we understand what it means. Doesn't have anything to do with, you know, uh, a religion. But when it comes to the biblical sense in the Bible, everybody thinks, you know, because your preachers told you that God can do all things except for, for some reason, destroy the devil and, you know, be people that got chariots of iron. I, I don't know what that's about. But um, God can do all things. Everybody think the impossible. Y'all watch too many movies. Imagination is too big. So they think God can just, you know, like genie. You know, twinkle his nose and then poof, a whole person just appeared. And it don't work like that. It don't work like that as far as uh, just physics. It's just not possible. So um, stuff has to happen. Uh, there's a, a whole creation sense. Even when you look at us, you know what I mean? He didn't just, you know, blink and everything comes together. Like, it don't work like that. You have to make shit, create. It don't go that way. So you think about a, the physical God of religion. And okay, so God exists. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Oh, who created God? Let's back up. Who created God? And where did God come from? Who created the creator that created God? And who created that person? So it gets into the whole thing. I talk about this in, in videos about existence. And then everybody want to say, yo, the Big Bang and so on and so forth. Okay, well, in what space did the Big Bang take place in? Anybody? In what space did the Big Bang take place in? Understand what I'm saying? It had to happen somewhere. What is that somewhere? That would be existence. And that would mean it, has, it had to have already been there, right? And then in what space did existence exist in? If you can comprehend what I'm saying, and that's the problem. A lot of people can't critically think. So again, from my stance, if you follow my research, existence has always existed. There never was a beginning and there will never be an end because there will always be existence, period. So in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Okay, well, where did he create it? What space did God exist in when he was creating the heavens and earth? What is that called? What is that space called? You understand? So existence has always existed. You got to understand this. This is infinite, infinite space, infinite existence. So consciousness has always been. So this is what you have to really get deep into and understand. And, you know, you want to think about a creator being, a being or God, a being had to be created himself. That something had to create that being all the way back to the end of time. So that's not me saying that there's an infinite number of beings because creation had to happen at some point. So that's me saying that it can't be that way that there is this being that created the heaven and earth because he at some point had to be created. That would be the beginning of him. And if existence has always existed, then at some point in existence, that creation or the creator had to be created. Understand? So whatever that consciousness is will be God. And that is the universal consciousness that we are a part of, which is why we say we are gods. We are a part of that. So when you begin to understand, break it down, that we are a part, our consciousness and energy is a part of the universal consciousness that created everything. We exist now on this planet Plain and simple, there was an agreement at some point. We had to enter into agreement to do this. No being is that powerful to subjugate or imprison us in the flesh without our consent. 
This is something that was agreed upon. This is something that's happening for a re for many reasons. You understand? So um, it's a reason for this. But we are a consciousness experiencing the physical world just that simple. Why? To gain experience, to grow in consciousness and energy. It's the only thing that makes that makes sense when you really get deep into it. Because you don't create this complex being that is us for no other reason. People say, I was born to be a cop. I was born to be a teacher. You know, I was born to be a movie star, a basketball player. So what about the people that existed 10,000 years ago before any of that stuff was existing? What was their point of purpose? You know, and that would be, you know, you go back 100,000 years, 10,000 years. Even when we go back in our own recorded history, what we know people living primitively, as I said in the videos, there is thousands of people who have come and gone, leaving absolutely no footprint or nothing on this planet to let us know that they ever existed. What would be their purpose? What would be the point of that? So then when you understand, as I talk about, that your purpose, which you don't really have a purpose, to be clear, it's going to sound weird, but really, you're here to experience. That's what I believe in. This is about experience. The more experience you gain, the more you grow. Understand? So the more you perceive, because consciousness needs to perceive things. Consciousness cannot expand and grow without perception of something that exists. Just that simple. So in other words, you can't build a car if you don't know how to build a car. You have, to, you have to learn how to do that. Once you get that experience, you can create now. So in order for me to understand this, I got to learn first. I got to experience. The more you experience, the more you grow. Your consciousness expands. Your energy expands. You grow. You do amazing things. Haven't you ever looked at somebody, these people, these scientists and billionaire inventors or what have you, like, how the fuck did you know how to do this? How did you figure this stuff out and create it to make billions of dollars? It's just simply knowledge. The person who built the computer, you could have done it. It's just they had the knowledge before you and they did it. But it's something you can do. Whatever's created, it's something you could learn and do on your own. They're no different and no better than you are. It's just they got the knowledge first, which is why knowledge is the real power. Knowing is the real power, especially in a physical form. If you know, you grow. If you know, you can do. Knowledge is everything. So knowing things and having information, you grow. Changes your whole perception. Once you became conscious, you look at the world different. Every single one of you. So you knew you didn't want to do certain things no more. I'm conscious now. I'm not doing this dickhead shit no more. So that knowledge helped you. And you grow from it. It's why I don't knock too many Christians because some of them get their lives together because they believe in the Christian God and doing godly things that would have you. So they get themselves together and get a family and live good and everything like that because of what they believe in, the knowledge that they have. You understand? So we can have the knowledge as conscious people do the same thing, but without the, you know, religious oppression. So yeah, it's a deep conversation, deep to get into when you start peeling back all the layers of everything as far as belief. So yeah, well, I thank you guys for taking the time to watch this. Um, I have a, there's a bunch of new DVDs coming up. So get the flash drive, make sure you guys grab it. A lot of new videos coming up. I haven't put out a new DVD in a while, but we got a bunch coming up. Um, so make sure you guys grab the flash drive. Uh, if you grab the flash drive when those videos are done, they will be on the flash drive. So you won't have to download them or what have you. Um, and I recommend doing that because um, if you if you get it late, it's not going to come with never, never pay again membership after this week. So that means you got to buy them all, buy the videos. It's better to do it now. Grab the flash drive while it comes with never pay again. So when the new videos come out, you don't have to buy them. Again, I'm doing the sell. I stretched it out longer for the people who ask. There's a lot of people. And I understand and I respect you guys and I appreciate everybody. You know, people got to wait till they get paid and so on and so forth. Like I said, I'm not going to deny nobody who asks, um, especially if it's a lot of people, you know, the extension or what have you. So as I said, I've been threatening to take it down for a long time. I always end up keeping it up for longer 
for the people who um who need to wait for whatever reason but um yeah make sure you guys take advantage of it while it's up and uh you know just look out make sure you register before you do anything after this video if you didn't register yet go and register for Merkable academy just get it out the way the link is in the description to register click the link register Merkable academy so you can register so when you do get the flash drive or never pay again membership I can just update your account and you don't have to worry about missing out on anything. So yeah, thank you guys again for taking the time to watch. Everybody who supported, I appreciate it. See you guys next video.